I browse Reddit a lot. For those of you who live under a rock, Reddit is an online community where people who share common hobbies or common interests, they come together and they talk about things. As a voice teacher and as someone who loves singing and making music, I find myself often checking these communities or what they call subreddits. And you know what's interesting? On the singing subreddit, some of the most common questions are ones like these. Can I learn how to sing at any age? Can I learn how to sing when I'm 30, when I'm 40, when I'm 50? Is it too late for me to learn how to sing? And I get it, it's very easy for us to feel like we're too old for singing. We're way past it now, and there's no way that we can pick it up now. After all, you know, with all those talent shows, with all those people on American Idol, you know, America's Got Talent, and they're singing, and they've got the face of the baby, we're conditioned to think like this, so I totally get it. But what if this wasn't true? What if that old phrase of, you know, it's never too late to get started, what if that was actually true for singing? And so in today's episode, I'm really, really interested in breaking it down for you and showing you exactly why it's possible to learn how to sing, why exactly it is possible regardless of your age. And I'm gonna share some concepts from the science world, but also share some real world examples because for a lot of us to see that it is possible for us, sometimes we need to look at real life examples. So let's finally put that doubt of yours to rest. Now, real quick, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Ivan, I'm a voice teacher and I love making music and I love sharing with people how to get better at singing. So really on this channel, my goal is to make learning how to sing as simple and as easy as possible. And so if that is up your lane, consider subscribing. And if you're looking to improve your voice even faster, check out some of the links in the description. Now let's just tackle the first part of the question. Can I even learn how to sing? The first point we need to make clear is we need to stop thinking of singing as this magical gift, this magical ability. This is the underlying reason of why we're asking this question to begin with. Because deep down, we feel like we need to be born with something different. We need to be born with the gift, the ability to learn how to sing. It's something that's just magical and it just happens to some people. And this isn't surprising, you know, with talent shows, singing competitions, social media, we're almost conditioned to think that the world is either divided into people who can sing and people who can't sing. But here's the thing, if we peel back the magical curtains and we look at what singing is, at its core, singing is a neuromuscular skill. And what this means is similar to throwing a ball, all singing is is a combination of your using your brain and also using certain muscles across your body. Now, what's different with singing though is there's often a lot more finer motor control and also you can't see the voice, so it's not as easy to get feedback. But nonetheless, learning how to sing is a skill that involves some part of your brain and also some muscles in your body. And this is cool because when you can understand this, you realize that learning how to sing is so, so possible. I mean, would you have doubts about learning how to throw a ball? Okay, Ivan, I get it. It is totally possible to learn how to sing, but it's too late for me. It's too late. I'm way too old now. Maybe if I started a bit earlier, maybe if I started as a teen, maybe then, yeah, maybe then I'd get it. And I get you, that's what the science thought for a long time as well. Past a certain age, past this kind of golden window, and you're stuck. But this has been proven to be not true on many occasions. You know, a lot of research is now proving that our brain is so, so capable of reorganizing itself and building new connections, even way past our golden years. This is known as neuroplasticity. And I mean, really challenge this, right? Really have a think about this in your own personal life. What's a new skill that you've picked up in the past few years? Maybe something that you thought was impossible. For my parents, technology was a big one, learning how to use a phone. They never thought it was possible to do it until they started using it. And this just goes to show that we're capable of learning any skills well into our adult years, even in the case of singing. Now, the caveat though is it is harder, like undeniably it is harder because unlike being a kid where you're learning from a clean slate, we have to learn to unravel some of the habits, unravel some of the things before we can build new connections. Kind of like getting rid of the weeds in a garden before you can plant new things. But this is why, especially for adults, always, always recommend taking voice lessons because proper feedback will allow you to unlearn some of these habits a lot, lot easier. It can be very, very tricky to unlearn them, especially when you're trying to do things on your own. But nonetheless, it is very, very possible to learn how to sing regardless of age. In fact, most of my clients are adults well into their 30s, their 40s, their 50s, and all of them, provided they were doing the work, provided that they were actually seeking good feedback, they're able to see improvements. You know, just check out some of the testimonials or before and after on my YouTube channel. It is very, very possible.
Now, some of you who are listening or watching up until this point, you're probably still skeptical and, you know, with good reason. You know, you're probably thinking, hey, Ivan, you're a voice teacher. Of course, of course, you're going to be telling me that singing is possible. You have an incentive. You're basically selling voice lessons. And yes, you know, of course, I sell voice lessons. I sell singing programs. I, I'd love to work with you. I'd love to help you improve your voice. But this isn't because I'm selling some magical belief. It's not because I'm selling this, you know, this kind of snake oil to you. But it's because I've seen people go from not being able to sing to singing the songs that they want, right? It's, it's an undeniable reality. But regardless, I wanna share some examples, some examples that are not my clients, so people that I don't work with, right? To hopefully erase that final piece of doubt from your mind of can I learn how to sing at any age? And what better way to do this than going back to Reddit and sharing some of the examples I found there. So example number one, I started at 32. I took two years of lessons from an SOS instructor. SOS is basically speech level singing um, and it was invented by Michael Jackson's vocal coach, Seth Riggs and just to sing back up for our vocalists and lay down vocal ideas. Now I'm 35, three years later, and I'm better than he is. <laughs> isn't that cool, right? Isn't that cool? Now, example number two, I started singing at 59, so a lot, lot older, to accompany myself on the guitar, right? A lot of you are gonna be in a similar boat, and I finally did an open mic the day before COVID shut down the entire world. Singing to me is meditative, and also I enjoy practicing and learning. Singing exposed me to new experiences and it adds a dimension to me that's not work related. I made new friends along the way as my voice teacher and husband are awesome, friendly people. And I love this post because it shares that, you know, well into even your 50s, it is very possible to do things that you've never done before, right? It's very, very possible to improve your voice. But also because I find that for a lot of people considering voice lessons, one of the things that holds them back is thinking, oh, I have to be a professional singer. I have to turn singing into some kind of professional gig. But really that's not the case. You know, a lot of people who are working on their voice with voice lessons, a lot of my clients are doing this as a hobby, right? Basically do something outside of work and something that gives them a lot of fulfillment and a lot of joy. And that itself is enough reason to take voice lessons. Now I've saved the best for last because this is actually one I can relate to a lot. Example number three, NY Celia's, NY Cecilia, sorry, said this, 46-ish when I started and no, I've never sang before because I was told I was terrible and to shut up. And so I did, and I'm barely talked to. And if you're curious, started learning to sing as a personal challenge. I just recently turned 50, right? Started out with no range, progressed to an octave and a half. And the last time someone checked me, I had three and a half octaves. Wow, that's actually really, really impressive. And this may have changed, right? Because I don't measure my success in the way of octaves, but instead on how I feel about my own voice. Now, I really like this last part because, because they said this, I think your limitations are only the ones set by yourself or by listening to the ridiculousness of others. You can do anything you want if you work hard at it. And I started out thinking that I'd never be able to do this thing, but currently feel pretty good about it. Not perfect, but always improving. And this is, this is the fact, right? A lot of us think we can't sing because of conditioning by other people. Things that other people have said, you know, I've had so many students who said that their family, their dad, their mom, told them not to sing, you know, as an off-handed remark. And they held onto that belief way into their adult years when it's simply not true. Team, that is a wrap. The reality is you can learn how to sing at any age. And I've shared it from a very, very scientific lens, but also shared it from a personal and anecdotal lens. I've shared some examples from Reddit as well. And so if you found value from this episode, please share this with a friend because it really helps this community grow. I wanted to leave you with a quote that really stuck with me. There are two people in this world, those who want to and those who will. The real obstacle was never, is it possible, but rather, are you willing enough to find a way? And if you are, it honestly just starts with sitting down, sitting down with your, you know, your phone, your piano, and just trying, you know, singing a song, singing through some scales, figure out what you're good at, what you're not so good at, and trying to improve from there. And you just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Now, you know, if you feel stuck, if you feel like you're not making progress, you don't have to do this on your own. Reach out for a voice lesson, check out some of my singing programs. I've got links to it in the description below. But just realize that, you know, it is possible for you. You just gotta put in the work. You gotta get the right guidance. And so team, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Ivan, I am your voice teacher. And I look forward to seeing you every single Thursday or Friday because that's when we release tutorials like this. Take care.